eternal soul I will see. Cast your bread upon the in the man I just love the moments when Father Charlie will come into the office and uh, we have a guitar that's just sitting there and he'll just pick it up and, and start playing it himself too and that's uh, some of those moments I kind of wish I uh, had a second guitar ready to go so we can <laughs> we could do our own jam there. Has he ever, have you ever asked him to play at Mass? This is another priest is celebrating mm -hmm. to actually play at Mass. If, if he would, well. I think we got, we got a, we'd make a spot for him, for sure, yeah. yeah. I think that's kind of a really, you, you make a spot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's always room for pastor. There's always room, yeah. <laughs> for me, the availability of Father Charlie, just, uh, he is, just in an instant, I uh, had a friend one time in need, and Father Charlie was even was on his day off, and I had his cell phone number, um, and and to be able to call him, and and that was a blessing. And then I just jokingly told him that since I have his number, could I call him from reconciliation when I need it? <laughs> that was a no go. <laughs> but, but that, and then just uh, how he's allowed me to participate in the healing services and and to travel with him uh, when they had the Marian conference, and just speaking to him and and getting to know him even better. Uh, but he's he's been available and to my family, so I just truly appreciate that about him. You know, it's funny. Father Jerry would often uh, catch me in the hallway, and uh, he's, hey, I have a question. I was reading this in, in the Bible. I have a question for you, and it was always very humbling to have Father Jerry come and ask me like a, yeah. a, a scripture question, a theological question. I was like, dude, I think you got this, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. But uh, it should be the other way back. yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> it's just very nice. He was just always very humble, like you know, yeah. hey, I'll ask Joe. You know, he might know something. Um, but, <laughs> but you don't know. Um, <laughs> turns yeah. out he didn't ask me. After that. <laughs> He's like, what are you? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, but no, that was always pretty cool. One Sunday at the end of Mass, they had recessed out and they were heading back towards the sacristy. And Father Oliver has his little cane and he's walking. And there's this another, like another old man who's coming towards him and he has a cane. And they're starting to walk past each other and they look at each other, stop bump their canes like they're gangsters and then like continue to like w keep walking like nothing happened and I'm standing there like that was amazing oh, that was Father Oliver he had some stains I was coming out of morning mass and he had a couple of stains on his shirt so Father Oliver you got he got breath he goes no no that's my dinner this is my breakfast <laughs> I got a picture he didn't even notice a couple of weeks ago I snuck into his office because he had like Beats headphones on like those really big like stylish new cool headphones and he had his little beret hat on and he was staring at the computer and he has those hipster glasses now and he had a beard and then he was staring at his computer and his Big Mac screen of like oh my gosh he just needs to be in like cartel or another coffee shop and he would just fit right in so I took a picture put it in black and white and put it on Instagram and I was like hashtag father hipster Every time I saw Father Jerry, I'd be like, how are you doing, Father? And he'd always be trying to be good. That's always, always <laughs> trying to stay good. He would always say, whenever I see him, are we winning or losing? <laughs> <laughs> He gave me one of his magic tricks. Yeah, I have, I have one of his. Gold ring. Yeah, that's what I got. He bought like, a whole stack. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Just, yeah. Just, yeah. make us all feel special. <laughs> Fred Bruno, the CDA chairman, said we got to get cranking. He says, "Stop monkeying around." Charlie, uh, a shepherd. He really does have a shepherd's heart. He's really good at guiding his, his, his flock here in the parish. Yeah. Yeah, what is it, pastor? Yeah. 
Uh, Father Oliver? Marion. I would say for Father John, um, authentic. You know, I think he's uh, just very real, like, honest with who he, this is who I am, you know, this is kind of how I approach things. Doesn't uh, try to be or pretend to be no, anything else, you know, just very authentic, very um, genuine and humble in the way he approaches the faith and the way he serves. When he, I was thinking about one <laughs> word, Father, Father Jerry, I think of one word for him is humble. Um, Father Oliver, I don't know, Grandpa, I don't know, he's just, he's the sweet old man that you just want to give a hug to every time you see him. You know, and because he just looks like somebody's grandpa. He's just sweet and happy all the time. I think probably, Father Charlie, I would say passionate. Um, best descri describes him and Father John, real. He's just, he's a real man. You know, you see him as a priest, but you hear so many stories about his hunting and fishing that to me, I don't know, he's... Annoyingly insightful. <laughs> 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 that is true. I'm laughing because it's true. It's true. He is. It's true. Theological. Fatherly. Annoyingly theological. Annoyingly. But when I think of Father John, I definitely think of uh, King David. Like the, they said King David was a, uh, a man after God's own heart. I see that with Father John. He definitely is just striving for holiness and and like loves doing manly things. Like he's always out hunting on his quad and whatnot. So someone I think of Father John. It's not one word, but. Father Jerry, true man of God. Tr holy man. Yeah, yeah. Holy he just man. radiates that joy. Father Oliver, we've been working here for, what was it? I've been working here for almost four years and Father <laughs> Oliver comes up to me and I was like, hey Father, or he was in the office. I was like, hey Father, good to see you. And he's like, hi. Who are you? <laughs> She's like, do you work here? I was like, yeah. I was like, yeah, I've worked here for three years. He's like, oh, well, good to see you. <laughs> so I have this sculpture. Uh, it was my first day on the job. I didn't even have a key to my office yet. Debbie was showing me into my office, kind of getting me settled in. First day, I was like a puppy dog. I, I had no idea what was going on. And in comes this priest, uh, and he is uh, young at heart, to say the least. And uh, comes in and he says, hey, I'm Father Jerry. And it's like, nice to meet you. And he goes, I made you this. And he goes, I, I hope you like it, and congratulations on your new position. And he hands me this statue, and it's the thinking man sitting on a toilet and it, he goes, it's the stinking man. And I literally was like, is this guy serious? Like we were hunting together, we were dove hunting, and a friend of mine shot a dove that was right over Father John and I, and peppered both of us. And I got hit in the face, and Father John's laughing. As I'm getting, like, I'm sitting there, and he's like, ha, 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 He had no idea. I was like, Father, why are you laughing? He's like, I was laughing. He's like, oh, are you okay? <laughs> But he's like, he's like, maybe he's like, maybe it's just a nervous thing that I do. Like, <laughs> that's like the one. Thing. I guess gonna die. I don't know what to that's do. The one, <laughs> that's the one. That's the one. Maybe Sydney's like, oh gosh. <laughs> and, at, and then he came into my off the office the next day, or uh, yeah, on Monday, and dropped off safety glasses on my on my desk. He's like, you're gonna need these. Father Charlie's homilies lead to lots of discussions in the cars on the way home from church. True. I mean, they're inspiring. They're not. You know, well, that's what yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. they do, they do. Mm -hmm. And I think of, of all the priests in my lifetime, and you know, when you're 60 years old, there have been a lot of priests when you're born in the Catholic Church. Um, Father Charlie's homilies have led to more discussions on the way home than any other priest. Mm -hmm. He's a great teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, he's a great teacher. He is a good teacher. My favorite Father Jerry homily story after hearing all of the, the funeral homilies that he, that he uh, liked to give was, about faith, how he liked to compare faith to putting gas in your car. We don't see the gas going in, but we have faith that um, that when we that when we're filling up our car, that it's actually going to help the car run, and it does every time without fail. And that's always helped me to to be able to teach that to others too, to pass that on about faith.
Well, just a thank you in general to our priest, uh, you know, Father Charlie, Father John, Father Oliver, Father Jerry. Um, all of you have been instrumental in forming me as a person and who I am. Our priests here are wonderful. They're gifts to our parish. Um, they lead by word and example, and we're so blessed to have them. Um, always just being here. Thank, thank you to all for your ministry and for the sacrifices that you have made in your lives to minister to us. Pope Francis said that God never tires of forgiving us. And I think the priests having these extended confession hours, they're like a, a living embodiment of that, that God never gets tired of forgiving us and the priests are, are engaging that truth by, uh, so actually, you know, thanking the priests for um, their service overall, but especially through the hours that they spend um, sharing God's mercy with people in confession. The end.